Perfect. My name is Rafi Mediavilla from Criticologos.com. Thank you, Sonia, Catherine, and Alicia, particularly very time to talk about the series. I love what I've seen so far, and I love your characters. I think the characters is the thing that stands out the most to me in the story. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I, I want to talk first about Pipa and Brie, because I, I absolutely love the chemistry between the three of you. And I think, um, I mean, I, I think both of the characters are really uh completely different for Lucy, strong and smart. And sometimes they play uh, devil's advocate with her as a way maybe to get, to get around her situation. Is that by default? Do you think that that, 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 that strategy is by default? Wait, sorry. Uh, sorry, what? sorry, say sorry. the last part of that question again. Is, do you think the strategy of, of, of play, playing devil's advocate with Lucy when we're talking with her, we're being around her, is it by default to get around her to try to get into her to, to you know maybe to get more more out of her uh that's that that, that Brie and, and people have with her uh Sonia you first yeah I think um when it comes to Steven Pippa's definitely trying every strategy she'd come up with to sort of communicate with her sometimes that's devil's advocate I also think that Lucy and Pippa are two very repressed people who don't communicate well and so they're always sort of just like weirdly circling each other and like misfiring and misunderstanding each other. Kat, do you want to add something to what Kat, you know, what, what, what Bri is doing, you know, to get through uh, Lucy? I think, I think Bri just really um, appreciates that she's met people that she's already friends with so early on in her college experience that she kind of doing anything to keep them close um, because it's like the most important thing to her, the friendships. So uh, I think she kind of just is just stands by Lucy on whatever decision she wants to make about Steven and is kind of just there for her regardless. Um, with Pip, I think uh, she can see that he's a bad guy and sees it coming and kind of tries to. Uh uh, I want a question for Alicia. I, I want to talk about Diana, and and I think um, a lot of people don't relate to the series. Uh, young people don't relate to the series. A lot of people, a lot of couples, don't relate to the series because of the way it was built, which is I think the characters is a, it, for me it's a really strong uh, character driven story, and it works. Well, that's what works. So I wonder if you know putting yourself in Diana's shoes, Diana's shoes. Uh, how would you you know react to the whole situation? How would you uh, approach her situation with you no? Know, she, she knowing how Steven is and what Lucy is going through now. How would you react to that? Right. I think that, I mean, I think that I would like to say that, and I think that most people would like to say, oh, if someone cheats on me, then I'm done. And that's what happens. Um, you know, Steven cheats on Diana. Um, that kind of happens off screen before the show starts. And I think that Diana in her gut, it feels the same way. Like, oh, he cheated on me. I'm done. But I think that when your partner is that special kind of person that they kind of, you kind of just keep getting sucked back into it. And it creates this kind of toxic cycle. Um, and I can see that happening to me. And I think that a lot of people are going to relate to that too. Like knowing that someone is bad for you, but like just not being able to stay away. Um, one final question, I think I have time, and this is an open question for the three of you. And for people that haven't uh, watched and read, read the novel, I, I did read the novel, it's mostly focused on Lucy and Steven, it's not focused on the whole characters, and, and they don't mention that much of the characters in the trailers. What can they expect from, from, from you guys, from your character's perspective? What can they expect from the story? Uh, Alicia, you first. I think that they can expect like all of it's like a it's a very strong ensemble piece and I think that everyone plays a really important role and that everyone somehow is connected and that each story and like scene is there for a reason and influences and really supports each other and like the story would not be the same and like I don't think that pe people would get the same out of it if there were any one of us um, not included. Cut. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Um, I think it's just really apparent how like intricate all of the relationships are and how much they bounce off of each other and how one decision can lead to a whole slew of things happening. Um, so yeah, just to reiterate what Alicia said. Sonia, do you want to add something else? 
I feel like you guys, you guys <laughs> nailed it. Yeah. Um, you get to see everything that is in the book and then some, and, more. and then some, and then some. And then some yeah. <laughs> I think that, that, I think that, I think that's why I love the, love the series. I think that they expanded on it so much with the characters and what you guys did. So great. So again, congratulations and thank you for taking your time. Thank you. Thank you.